guys, today I am going to quickly show you how to organize your project statuses and change these funnels within your project dashboard so we can create a very smooth and organized funnel system for all of our projects to know where our clients are at in their process um, <clears throat> or during their client journey with us. So where I'm at right now is our project dashboard, which you can see is over here on the left-hand menu when you're in your Dipsado account. Now, at the top, you're going to see we have our leads area and our jobs area, which is defined within Dubsado, depending on um, what is attached to that project. <clears throat> now, within these, we have, as you can see, different funnels that I have labeled within leads as well as jobs. Now, if you have a trackpad, you can scroll over to see all the different funnels here and then as well as our combined jobs and archive jobs. Now, a lot of people have varying opinions on how you want to organize this, um, but the best way I've found to organize um, for many small business owners is to have a lead system that is in line with your inquiry workflow. So depending on what your follow-ups look like, if you have discovery calls, proposals, etc. And then your jobs, this is where you could either categorize by your type of job or by the status of a job. So let's say you have your wedding photographer, you could have a wedding booked, um, a wedding editing, album delivery, etc. For me, I'm a service-based business and I work mostly B2B. So I'm going to have um, some better organization when I have things by category or niche um, or project. <clears throat> now at the very end, you'll see the combined and the archived as well. So these would be all the combined jobs in leads and jobs and all the archive jobs in the system would end up here. Now, the way we can customize what we're seeing in this dashboard area is by going to this button here, which is now going to allow us to customize the project statuses that we have. With these, we can see which options um, we have for our project statuses, as well as add new statuses here. We can change the funnel name, make it a lead or a job <clears throat> and then we can also edit the ones we already have in the system dubsado already comes with a few but again you may not have any in your system if you haven't added any before then again if we scroll down we can also see some additional columns here that you can edit for your projects page if you want to change um, certain information that you want to see from the client as well as any custom mapped fields and any tags so that is how we can easily change our project status and create a very organized funnel system for all of our leads and clients. Hope you guys enjoyed this tip and stay tuned for next week's.